someone uses their kit. Step one, check for signs of an overdose. Is the person unconscious, limp, or unresponsive? Step two, try to wake them up. Yell out their name in a loud voice and shake them gently. Step three, rub chest bone. Rub your knuckles hard up and down in the middle of the person's chest. If the person wakes up, try and keep them awake. Step four, check breathing. Place your ear next to their mouth to see if they can feel or hear a breath. If there are no breathing sounds or you don't think the person is breathing, call 911. Step five, call 911. Stay calm and tell the 911 operator that the person is not breathing and or they are unresponsive. Step six, give naloxone. Step seven, clear their mouth. If the person is not breathing, check their mouth and remove any objects such as food, chewing gum, or even vomit. Gently lay them on a hard surface on their back. Step eight, perform rescue breathing. Tilt the person's head back with their chin up. Pinch their nose closed with your fingers. Seal your lips tightly over their mouth. Gently breathe into their mouth two times in a row. Their chest should rise, not their stomach. Step nine, put them in the recovery position. Once they are out of danger, place the person on their side with legs bent and head resting on their arm on the floor. The recovery position lets fluid drain from the person's mouth so they do not choke. Step 10, when 911 arrives, tell them you use naloxone and how many doses you gave. If you're not able to stay with the person, leave the emergency opiate overdose kit next to them. Step six should have been rescue breathing for a hundred sound medical reasons person might, might not be in a drug overdose. Naloxone can be ineffective. Every second you withhold respiratory assist from anyone in a respiratory emergency, all cells, tissue, and organs are dying. Their blood chemistry is becoming toxic. Respiratory assist, they might even wake up without the naloxone. Follow what all medicine says. Respiratory assist is more important than the actual naloxone. It's inadequate respiration, not inadequate naloxonation.